D3. Did I get it? You, you certainly well, did. And, there are many, and here but are a number of doctors, and I'm appreciating these doctors for bringing this information. And this is Dr. Mercola, MD, uh, bringing this out. And he says, another influent, avoid flu shots with the one vitamin that will stop flu in its tracks. Do that, because I have another article here on flu. Terrific. All right? Wonderful. We didn't coordinate this, folks. No, we don't. This you know, we love the old idea of spontaneity, <coughs> uh, yeah. improvisation, you know, a little bit of life's excitement there. In our house, I sit in my corner, she sits in, in the rest of the house, and uh, we just kind of put these things together. So we just happened to meet on this one, which is Gosh, great. Gosh, that's rather cold and all. That's not no, the way it is. He's they kidding. know I'm kidding. Anyway, he says another influenza season is beginning, and the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC strongly urges Americans to get a flu shot. In fact, he says the CDC mounts a well-orchestrated campaign each season to generate interest and demand for flu shots. Now I'm quoting Dr. McCall, a medical doctor. But a recent study published in the October issue of the Archives of Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine found that vaccinating young children against the flu appeared to have no impact on flu-related hospitalizations or doctor visits during two recent flu seasons. Did you hear that? No impact, and this is in an orthodox medical publication. The researchers concluded, and he's quoting here, that, quote, significant influenza vaccine effectiveness could not be demonstrated for any season, age, or 